Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this is the Miles E Bilateral Laser Rangefinder. It's a pretty slick tool that's taking the bilateral thing to a new dimension, and bilateral means it actually has a laser out this end, and a laser out this end, and for good measure it's got a laser here for alignment purposes and measuring elevation. Um, now, a lot of people have laser rangefinders, or excuse me, rangefinders like this that have a laser in them. If I power this up, this old Craftsman, you can see it does fire out a laser. But this is a sonic rangefinder, and these are notoriously inaccurate. Um, they are, are sensitive to different materials. They basically emit a sound wave, and sound uh, changes quite a bit in different mediums, different air temperatures, things like that. But um, it bounces back, which means if you listen to this, you can hear that clicking. Hold it by the mic. That clicking basically is uh, emitting a sound. It's actually ultrasonic. You're listening to the, the function of the thing. Uh, it emits a sound, has to be quiet, and wait for that sound to travel back and hear itself, and then it emits another sound. So that happens pretty quick. So the pause between those clicks is actually the amount of time that, time, that sound has to travel um, before this thing interrupts itself. And because of that, it doesn't have much of a range. I don't know what this is, maybe three meters or so is about all. Um, here's a little tiny DeWalt one. This guy here has got an uh, uh, internal battery, charge it up. Um, pretty basic. Um, not the, I, I don't know how accurate it is. It seems pretty good, but I never know, you know, um, I, you just don't know with some of the small ones. I do use larger distance ones. Um, here's a Leica. This one's good out to about a mile. Um, I can also do angle calculations with that. Here's a SIG. This is a Kilo 2400. Um, and this one actually has a applied ballistics engine in it. So I, I've got an app I run on my phone that I can also use with what the, all the information that this one um, will take in. Uh, my usual go-to before was uh, this this Blaze by Bosch. It's been out a little while, but it's a super nice one. These are about 200 bucks. Um, green laser, and it has taptic feedback, so it literally chirps when you take a mess take a, uh, a reading, um, and that tells you that it in fact has taken the re reading. So if you can't if you can't see the display, you know there's a little bit of haptic feedback, and it's got all kinds of different functions. Um, if I cycle through that um, and different settings, and I can trigger it with my phone, it has Bluetooth. Um, going to the 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 Mile C, there is this is the DP20. Uh, there is also a DP20 Pro, and that DP20 Pro has uh, Bluetooth capabilities, so you can um, store onboard measurements that you use or that this this would take. Uh, a couple of interesting things, because you've got a bilateral laser, you don't have to put it up against anything. Anywhere um, along the, uh, the uh, line in which you want to measure, um, up to uh, uh, you know its minimum distance, and it will actually work quite fine. Let me uh, go ahead and show you. So I need to take it to a room. Well, this is even easier. Here's a box. You can see the size of this box. I'll just throw it in here. I'm going to cut one light just so you can see this a little bit easier. Um, now, the OLED screen is crystal clear, but you're probably going to see uh, some of that frequency bounce because of the, um, the lighting that I've got. Um, but otherwise, um, I don't see any of that in real time here. Um, it is designed uh, on, you know, at, at this, um, this display to give you the left hand measurement, the right hand measurement, and the total measurement. So if I hit the, the button, you can see there are two lasers that light up. And if I hit it again, it will give me the measurement left side, right side, total. Now that first button click, um, and some people have complained about that on laser rangefinders, that's totally normal. It turns it on, allows you to sight it, and then allows you to take the measurement with the second click. Um, there is a feature on this where you notice I turned on another laser that's out the front, and that would allow me, um, if it's level, to hold it at a particular height, or I can use you know some other landmark or whatever um, to line that up. Um, so that's a nice feature. And if you notice, it has a level built into it that allows me to um, just quickly hold it about level. And you see there's a little um, indicator arrow at the top. 
Um, as far as the uh, functions, the modes, uh, this is this one here is the standard. I'll go through all and then show you the operation of a couple. This is a standard linear measurement. I can also do square area, takes two measurements and does a calculation. Volume, three measurements to get a cubic measurement. This uh, is a height, onboard Pythagorean or trigonometry basically. I can do a base measurement um, and then I can also, the second button will be a height measurement or an angle hypotenuse measurement and then I'll get that adjacent angle. So measuring a building or a tree or whatever. Um, I can also do a quick height measurement here where I just point it uh, at one spot and then it knows the internal angle and another spot. It has the two lengths of those uh, triangle sides and an angle so then it can calculate what that third one would be. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, it has a couple of different units, three meters, feet, and inches. Uh, oh, four, I guess there's the uh, fractional in, in feet and inches. Um, and then memory function over here, this is where I could turn off one end of it. Um, let me go to this, this um, here. So I can turn off one of the lasers. I'll put it down here. Um, if I turn it on, you see there are two lasers, laser beams, um, but I can hold this down and shut off one. This now says mark from the back. So I can use it at this point. And now it is a standard uh, laser measuring tool. That's the way we use a lot of them is you have to butt it up against something. Um, and so I can shut off either one of them, turn that back on. Um, I, a neat feature, and I'm going to turn the box sideways to do this one, is I can go to fractions of the distance. So 1 over n, n is the distance between the two walls in this case. Um, get that to focus. So I can push that, and uh, like this is 1 out of 9. I'm going to go 10, let's see, 11. I'm going to go down here. So you can see uh, these fractions, I can divide it up. So um, say one third, I can set it here and turn it on. Now it keeps the lasers firing, but I slide this. It, there's actually an arrow that tells me here. Um, so this is my, that's my one third mark right there. And then it's telling me to go this way for my two thirds mark. Right there. when it chirps. Whoops, I got too close. Go, there it is. So that's my two-third mark. So here and here, so I could mark that. Um, uh, I can also, uh, here's two-fourths, so that's also known as one-half. You know, or, so I can also move that to the center line. Whoops, I've got my finger in front of the laser there. So right there is my dead center of the box. Um, so that's that's kind of a cool feature as well. Turn that off. Um, it is a, uh, a machined aircraft aluminum. Um, this, I guess, is in a... I don't know if it's a Kickstarter or if it'll be for sale soon, or maybe it is. Um, but this is a... Um, uh, the the Mile C is a uh, company that makes... Um, a lot of kind of tool-oriented electronics, work electronics, and I'm hoping to do more with them because I, I'm impressed with this thing. It was kind of neat. It took me a little while to kind of get comfortable with some of the features, but um, very simple design. Um, and compared to some of these others, now this Bosch has a rubberized case around it. Um, you know, it's it's more like you know kind of traditional designs of things. This is taking it to a little bit different level. Um, comes in this case. The USB-C recharging is nice um, versus on this having to plug in batteries. Um, this also has the tripod mount, but I haven't used the tripod with this one. And then uh, it's got a, the Big Brother, the Pro as well, has got a greater range. This is about 120 feet, I think 40 meters, something like that. And then it, the Big Brother, the Pro um, which I have not seen in person, but it actually has the, the Bluetooth capability and the ability to uh, go out to about 160 feet, which is around what this one is as well. But anyway, there it is, the Mile C bilateral uh, digital laser rangefinder. Um, kind of a cool 
uh, tool that is so fast to use, so easy to use, that uh, you'll be measuring everything once you kind of get into the bilateral side. And with that, dock out.